Why does the null result of the 1887 Michelson-Morley experiment lead to a fixed Earth? Well, ever since Copernicus, everyone has believed the Earth is revolving around the Sun, but no one had ever proven it. Michelson's machine was a hundred times more sensitive than it had to be to detect the Earth revolving around the Sun. The experiment was done many times, but the result was always the same the Earth's speed through space appeared to be zero. This meant that either the Earth was standing still in space, or the machine couldn't detect it moving for one reason or another. But since modern science already believed as a bedrock fact that the Earth was moving around the Sun, they were more or less forced to interpret Michelson's null results on that basis. In logic, that kind of decision is known as begging the question, that is, using as proof the very thing one is trying to prove that the Earth is moving around the Sun. In any case, if they were going to hold to their convictions, they had to figure out how could they make Michelson's null results for movement coincide with the idea that the Earth was moving. Here's where Einstein comes in. He said that the only way was to say that Michelson's machine shrunk a little in the process of measuring the Earth going around the Sun. Yes, you heard that right. If the yardstick you use won't give you the measurement you need, then one option is to shorten the yardstick. In fact, Einstein and his colleague Lorentz said that the whole Earth and everything on it, including Michelson's machine, had to shrink a little because they were all moving around the sun. The Earth had to shrink by about 0.3 inches and Michelson's machine by about a few microns. Today, this is called the Lorentz contraction. It is one of the most widely accepted truths of modern science, as well as the foundation and substance of the special theory of relativity invented by Einstein in 1905.